let's have a look with the six iron and, and obviously show some differences to the people watching between a, a, a sort of a mid iron and then maybe we'll hit a longer iron actually. The six iron and uh, with, with the backswing. So the driver, you said, other than the fairway finder, yeah. you'll be getting behind the ball. Same yeah, so with the, the irons or not so much? No, the driver, like you're, you know, you're standing there and you're kind of, you feel like you're almost set up a little bit on your right hand side and you, you're getting turning behind the ball. But like with your irons, you almost feel like you need to turn and stay on top of the ball because you know if you move off it you kind of have to move into it to get a clean strike so I would feel like with an iron that you know I just kind of almost feel like I'm turning a little bit onto my right side but more my chest is trying to stay on top of the ball and, and from there then I can hit the shot I suppose. Let's hit one with that and then I'm going to have a look at one of those longer irons in your bag. Oh love the sound of that one. Uh, the longest iron you carry in your bag, Shane? Yeah, I've got a three iron. Yeah, that's my longest one. So sort of a, a utility type. It's three a big iron, three iron. Yeah, tricks on. Uh, it's a, I, I like it. I love it. It's a great club. It's um, it's very versatile. I can hit it low. I can hit it high. So it kind of it works for whatever I need it for. But I definitely can hit a high. Like which you can You need playing the PGA Tour. You know, you need if you've got 230 yards into a firm green. Um, you need to be able to hit the ball in the air. So that's what I can do with this club. I can do both. I wonder if we could have a contrast between your highest three iron and your lowest three iron. Okay, and uh, right. maybe we'll be able to see on the screen what uh, what the difference would be, I suspect. So to hit the highest three iron, if you had to hit it to a very firm green, it's 230, yeah. it's a par five, you want to stop it, you want the putt for the eagle. So I'm trying to... You know, I'm getting the ball forward in my stance. I'm almost trying to feel like I'm hitting up on it. You know, I'm trying to hit like a big high, sort of a little cut, but like way in the air. You know, from there, I'm, I am trying to feel like I'm staying behind the ball a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm not trying to stay on top of it like I would with a six iron. So you, so you probably wouldn't take much divot? No, no divot at all, really, I'd say. So I kind of am a little bit left forward in my stance. That was nice for a three iron. That's 110 feet high, Top Tracer says, 110 okay. feet and no divot. Now the absolute contrast with that one, this could be an open championship course. It could be Pebble Beach on a windy day for yeah. sure. If we had the lowest of the low, how would we do that? So I go complete opposite. I'd There I put a forward in my stance. I aimed a little bit left trying to hit a high cut. Here I will go back in my stance and I'd almost be trying to hit like a low squeezy draw. So I'd be, you know, squaring up the club face, back of my stance. I'd almost narrow my stance a little bit. And I'm trying to hit, I'm not trying to hit as hard. I'm not trying to hit it like full out. I'm sort of hitting it like 80, 90% because the harder you hit it, the more you spin it and the more it's going to go in the air. So I'm sort of trying to back of my stance and hit like a little low draw. That one was 30 feet high, um, 70 feet and some difference there between those two shots. Absolutely fantastic. And so, in, so interesting that into the wind, trying to hit it low, you actually swing a little bit softer yeah. than, than the downwind shot. Gosh, that's so helpful. So you can see there big differences between how he hits the driver. Um, you know, there's the fairway finder, there's the big draw, and uh, then there's, there's the irons. And I just want to say that, you know, uh, talking to your coach, Neil Manship, between these segments, you both feel very strongly the intention of the shot creates the motion, I think, don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like it's, uh, you know, we're here, there's a lot of wind out of the left. So I'm like visually straight away, I'm seeing my shots more left to right on the wind. You know what I mean? So I kind of, my body kind of, Mentally, I set up for that. My brain just sets up for that. So it's whatever shot I see, my my body will kind of set up for that. Like I I play golf, and my caddy will tell you this. He he'll say that, you know, when when I see a shot, like I'll say to him, I can see this. Like we, you know, go away, kind of leave me alone. I I can see this shot. Just let me go for it. Look, I might not pull it off, but uh, you know, I think it's it's all about playing the shot you see and playing aggressively. Uh, very well said indeed. See the shot, then make the swing. That should help you. Mm -hmm.